Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I am Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I want to talk about how I see injuries in people. Now, some of you may know this word as medical intuitive, but the problem with intuitive, that word, it represents it's a feeling. So most medical intuitives actually feel where there's a problem or they sense where there's a problem, okay? There are a lot of people like myself who actually see the injuries in these people. So when I talk about how I see injuries, it's best if I show you something off the internet where this is how I see it. So I'm just sharing screen here now, okay? So here we've got some pictures in Google. Now, what I've done is I've done a Google of inside the human body. So when we look at this, pers this picture here, okay, let me just see if I can bring this in bigger for you. See how I can see the heart? Okay, I'll just make this a bit bigger. I actually see the heart like a three-dimensional active organ. I can see all the arteries around it. I can see all the blood vessels, the other muscles around it also. And then sometimes these organs talk to me. So in this case, if I was looking at your heart, I could actually feel boom, 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 of your heart. If there was any arrhythmia, if there was any blockages in any of the arteries coming into the heart, if I could feel that there was any um, high or low blood pressure, okay? So this is how I see it. So there's a good, that's a good picture of how I see inside a body. So if we scroll down, here's another one. Let's just open up this one and let's see if I can show this one in any bigger, okay? This guy here, this is great on how I see inside people because it also shows the bones in the arms and it shows the neck, and it shows the intestines. Now, I spoke to this one guy one day, and I said, your cholesterol's at 23. And he said, how did you know that? And I said, because your body just told me. So how do I know someone's cholesterol levels, okay? I've been able to tell people what their sugar counts are, okay? So because the body does talk to me. So this is a great video. This this one here, I like this picture because it shows the bones inside the arm. And this is how I see it. It's like a three-dimensional um, X-ray, if you want to call it like that. Okay. So I want to keep you throwing you some more, but today is a development. So what I'm going to show today is A, how I see it, which is what I'm showing now. Two, I'm going to share some stories on what how I do it. And three, I'm going to tell you how to do this yourself. So when I get a picture like it, when I'm looking at someone's organs, it comes up with colors. And usually I see it like an x-ray. So in this picture here, it comes up like a blue color. Now, when I see black, that's generally representing cancer or something really not nice. So I know when I look at people's bodies, if it comes up as black, then I know that they need to get to hospital straight away, okay? So that's basically how I see inside somebody's body. I can see inside of the actual body. You should see what I do when I look at skulls. Oh, my God, it is. Ugh. So that's why I don't do it that often because it does it would make me insane if I just kept looking inside everybody's body all day. And plus, it takes a lot of energy to do it. I get extremely tired after I've done it. And also, the other thing is, I don't like doing it without consent. Okay? So I like it when people say, hey, can you please look inside and tell me if there's anything wrong with me? Okay? So the second part of today's video is stories about how I've done this. So then you get your belief. Okay? And three, I'm going to tell you how to do this yourself. So the first one, there's three parts of how I, of stories, of how I do this. 
I'm going to tell a story about current injuries. Then I'm going to do one about future or precognitive injuries. And then I'm going to tell a story about injuries in other people. So the first one, current injury. My daughter and I were walk, walking through the grocery store. And as we've got the trolley, we're walking down the aisle, looking for whatever. There's a guy in front of us just looking at the stuff on the aisle, on the shelves. And he had this big bandage on his arm. And I could see what had happened. He just had a cancer cut out and he had seven stitches. Now, first of all, I see the stitches, but then I also get that psychic knowing that it was seven. Okay, I just knew seven, even though I could see the seven stitches on his arm. So my daughter was with me and I love teaching her how to be a psychic and to trust me is what I do. So I said to Tashi, he's just had a cancer removed. He's got seven stitches. Let's ask him if it was the truth. So I went up this mat, up to the man and I'm looking at whatever he's looking at on the aisle. And I said, oh, sorry to see that you're injured. Do you mind if I ask what happened? And he said, oh, yeah, I've just had a cancer cut out. And I said, oh, my gosh, I bet that was painful. He said, oh, yeah, I got seven stitches. My daughter was there. She heard him say it. So there you go. This is how I see um, injuries now. He had it all covered with a bandage. How could I possibly know? He could have just had a scratch on there. He could have just been sunburnt, so he's got a blister on his arm. Um, you know, so he's covered it. There was a lot of reasons why he could have had a bandage on his arm, but I knew it was cancer and I knew the number seven. So it was confirmed. So now I do that within people too. Like that guy who I said, your cholesterol is 24 and he or 23. And he said, yes, that's right. How did I know current injuries? Okay. So now let's look at precognitive or future injuries. I had a girl over at my house one night. And as she was leaving, I hugged her. And as I hugged her, which is contact, I knew what was coming. I saw it in her body. I said, oh, honey, you're going to, oh, my God, I've got to tell you. And she said, what's going on? And I said, my God, your left elbow, it's shattered. You've got three pins. They've put three pins in there. And you've got this big scar going up the back of your arm. She said, well, I don't have that now. And I said, well, please be careful because generally when I see injuries in people, it means that it's coming soon. She left. I actually forgot all about her. Didn't think about it. But a year later, which only happened about two years, well, it was just after COVID started, she rang me and said, can I please come over? I've got to show you something. She came to my house and she said, Linda, Remember you told me that I was had three pins and a scar on my arm. And I said, oh, my God, please don't tell me it happened. And she said she was riding a motorbike, fell off, broke, her, shattered her elbow, and she took off her leather jacket and she said, look, I was in the hospital for three months, but here's the three pins and there's the scar going up the back of her arm. She said, how did you know this? I said, because I see injuries in people, which I don't really like doing a lot, by the way, <laughs> especially when it's bad stuff and I see black around people, right? So then we come to the bad one, which I'm going to tell you about. I had a guy over at my house. Now, this is other people's injuries. Man came to my house and I'm doing an aura cleanse on him. So I'm taking off all the nasty energy off his body. And his mum popped in. I saw her as clear as day standing behind him. And I said, oh, does your mum have this and look like that? And he said, yeah, that's my mum. I said, is she still alive? And he said, yeah, she's still alive. She lives over about 15-minute drive away. And I said, oh, mate, this is weird because she's still alive, but she's coming through. So as I look back at his mum, I got this massive head pain and I start wobbling and I'm like, oh, 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 I nearly fell over. And he said, oh, my God, she's been doing that all week. 
I said, mate, you've got to get her straight to hospital. I'm seeing blood clot, aneurysm, stroke. You've got to get her straight to hospital. So he left and about, well, that was a Sunday afternoon and he rang me on the Thursday. So it was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four days later. He said, Linda, didn't believe you. And I said, well, that's fine. You know, there's a lot of people who don't. <laughs> and he said, but on the Monday, I rang my mum to see how she was. And she said she had this massive pain in the head still. So I thought I'll take her over to the hospital. So he took her over to the hospital on Monday because he rang me on that Thursday, right? He said they put her straight in emergency surgery. The next morning, so now we're at Tuesday, the doctor came in and saw him because he was there visiting his mum. The doctor said to him, thank God you brought her in because your mum's burst a blood vessel in her brain and she would have been dead within two days. I get so relieved when I hear that people listen and I also get so humbled by what I do. But most of all, sometimes this is um, more of a curse than a gift because I only do this with free will. So imagine the people I'm walking through the shopping centres and I can see inside them and I see black, which is generally end-of-life situations, you know, cancers, stage four cancers, heart attacks. Don't put that energy on me today. You know, I don't, did you notice I just did this, like drawing it in? So I cut that off straight away. So I want to share how do we do this for ourselves, okay? And this is serious because it is a serious gift. And I've got to give a warning first. I only ever do this with consent. I only do it with people who genuinely, A, appreciate and believe me, but two, want to get through it and get on with their lives, okay? Because at the end, I'm going to tell you a story. After this, when I tell you how to do it, I'm going to tell another story about how bad this can be. Maybe I should say it now. Yeah, I should have said say it now. Okay. So before I teach us how to do this, here's a warning. I had a guy over at my house because I used to have a meetup group, meetup.org, okay? And I used to be called Southside Psychics. So I used to do a lot of development at my house and I'd have parties every month, etc. So meet and greet days. So when I say I had a guy at my house, please know it was professional, right? So I had this guy at my house and it was horrible what I saw in him. I said, mate, you got to be really careful. I'm going to start with the left foot. Your left foot is virtually hanging on by just tendons like spaghetti. The whole foot and ankle is destroyed. The left hip is totally destroyed as well. They're probably going to want to amputate the leg. And I said the whole left arm is totally destroyed as well. The left wrist is just totally taken off and it's just hanging by the tendons as well, like the ankle. I saw bones protruding, really graphic, blood everywhere. It was horrible. This guy sort of gets alarmed and he says, oh, okay, well, it hasn't happened yet. Ha, 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 ha. So he leaves. And it was about two weeks later, he rang me up and he said, you got it wrong. This is how he answered the phone. Didn't even tell me who he was because I don't put everyone in my contact list, right? So it just came up as an unknown number, 04 number. You got it wrong. And I said, um, excuse me, this is Linda. Who am I speaking to? I was at your house two weeks ago. And I was thinking, well, who was that? Because I've had a few people over. I said, well, can you please let me know what's going on? He said, yeah, my name's this. He said, you told me it was all going to be on me, but you got it wrong. It's my mother. I said, oh, my God, what happened? He said he was driving. His mum was in the passenger seat. 
and a car came through a red light and T-boned. So they're moving forward. Now, here in Australia, drivers are on the right, passengers are on the left. So we're the opposite to America, right? They're traveling through this intersection. A car comes through and goes straight into the side of their car. So the whole side, left side of her was destroyed. He said her ankle is hanging on like the tendons, like you said. They're probably going to take her leg off today because her whole hip is destroyed. Then he said her whole right arm is lost as well. They're going to um, take it off today because her, her right, her left hand is just hanging on by threads. You got it wrong. You got it wrong. What could I say to this man? Thanks. I'm so grateful it wasn't you. Was I going to say, oh, my God, I'm so sorry I got it wrong? But thankfully, you know, now that she's in hospital, she'll be able to be looked after. I broke down and cried, obviously. This guy was so distraught. So this, this gift that I have can be a, a really big curse because he was so angry, so angry with me. So one of the thoughts that I get is, um, like somebody just mentioned it to me today, so which makes me want to do this video today. Someone said to me just this morning, they said, do, you, do I create these or am I seeing the future? I would hate to think that I'm creating this in any way or form. I would shut that gift down straight away and I would not use it if I thought in any way or form that I was manifesting this on these people. I live by the do no harm philosophy, you know. It's part of my PhD which I should about say, I should say now that I'm not a medical doctor, right? I've got a PhD. So I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. But thank goodness this guy rang me to let me know because then I could pray for his mum and I was sending her healing and all that. I don't know whatever happened to her. He never rang me again. I hope and pray she survived whatever surgeries they were going to do to her. But honestly, I don't think she did. That's the energy I got because she was just so injured. Obviously, an elderly lady, you know, past, she was over 75 years old. So how does the body survive that sort of shock, right? It's horrible. So if you have any inkling within you and you say, oh, yeah, I want to be able to see injuries, how cool. Don't think it's cool, guys. It's not cool. You know, sometimes when I see injuries in people, I just burst out crying. When I look at my own family with their injuries, I burst out crying because I can see what's going on inside them, even though they're in denial of how bad it could be. And when it's loved ones, that's when it gets really bad because we don't want our loved ones to be hurt. So please take this extremely serious if you do want to learn this gift, okay? Now, it's called Medical Intuitive, and it is out there. There's a lot of um, resources. There's a lot of development classes. So today I'm going to just give you one that's a common one. This is probably the easiest way of doing what I'm going to do, tell you. So I'm going to share this one today, this technique. If you try it, if you get this, or even if you just think, wow, well, Linda deserves some sort of credit or praise for this, my PayPal link is below if you wish to donate. I do not do super chats on YouTube, and I will never, ever support super chats on YouTube because your money then goes to YouTube. Half of what you donate goes to YouTube, just so you're aware. So I prefer that money coming to me because that's who you want the money to go to, right? So my PayPal link is below. So how do we get this for ourselves? It's the most easiest technique. And you don't look at me. You look past me. So here on the wall behind me, see all this open space? Look up here. And as you're looking up here, you look at me out of the peripheral. So you're looking up here and you might see colours. You might see waves. 
you might see bone structure like my skull, my neck, my throat. But as you look up here, you just don't put too much concentration into it. You just allow it to happen and you give permission for it to happen. So you might want to say something like, I give myself permission to see inside Linda's head. Okay? And I do give you permission right now, please look inside my head. Okay? If anyone can look inside, see if I've still got a brain tumour. Ha, ha, ha. Because I know the answer. Look inside my throat. Do I still have throat cancer? Ha, 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 again, because I know the answer to that one too. So have a look at my throat because C2, C3 in my neck are not connected. So try and have a look at that. So you just look up here or look over this side. You look at the blank wall behind me and you look at me out of the peripheral and you use your energy to just allow yourself to see inside me. It's all about intention, which is our thoughts. And it's all about consent. So first of all, I've given you consent that you can look within me. And second, give yourself consent that you've got this gift. So in my book, Psychics Explained, I actually say if you want any psychic gift, first of all, be thankful. Thank you so much for allowing me to want to have this. Then consent. I give myself consent to be able to have this gift. And the third one is believe. Believe that you have it. Because the more you say, I give myself consent and I believe I've got it, the more chances you'll have of getting it. So I'm just going to pause for a minute. Pause my screen if you want. So then you can actually just look past me over here. And if this does work for you, if you see colours, if you might see injuries inside me, because you know, I've got a lot, right? <laughs> if you think that you see something, say, wow, this is my left side, this is my right side. Right side's near the roses, left side's near the cupboard, right? So you might say, I see it on the side where the roses are, okay? So have a look. I'll just pause and let's see what you guys get. So you can pause the screen, okay? Have a look at me. Have a look at your loved ones. Oh, I don't really suggest that because it can be very painful, you know? I don't, ever, I don't look at my family without consent. So pick a stranger that you don't really know because you're not going to share the information with him because you're training, okay? You've got to develop this. Find somebody who gives you consent, okay? But most of all, believe that you can do it so if you've liked today's video please share it please like it please subscribe if you're not a subscriber and most importantly i live on your donations and contributions so my paypal is below if you wish to contribute okay the more you help others shows me what a generous and loving person you are at the end of the day okay so that's my video today i hope that you've enjoyed it Please hang around because I've got some good content coming this week, okay? And on that note, I'm going to love you all and say until next time, take care, stay in love and stay aware. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.